Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Mr. Golden Sports Productions. Today we are in week two of the God Squad. All the golden tickets, all the bounces, all these amazing cards. And although we got all these amazing cards, sometimes it just doesn't help out. Because you got to remember who's playing. I'm just an above average player who still struggle, who can make this team look pretty bad at times. I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, to begin the game, we start running the ball. And this guy's coming out in quarters three deep. And he's containing the run. Right here, I had X open on the motion. But I threw it too soon. I threw it before. Oh, you want to celebrate on us? I threw it before the pressure got there. Why? I, I don't know. I just felt like somebody was coming screaming off the edge. In reality, he wasn't. I just needed to wait an extra second for that route to be open. I threw it too soon, and I cost myself uh, a pick six. So, very frustrating. Every time I came out in a running um, formation, which he knew, as we dropped the ball right there, third and 18, and he hit me with the mic scrape. And I'm like, damn, either... Either he really knows what he's doing or he's just doing some random ass stuff. Well, the Mike Scrape, he knew how to set that blitz up. He set that blitz up perfectly. And I wasn't even paying attention. Now, okay, so we send in A-gap heaters. Okay, I feel you, brothers. I feel you. But as I tell you guys all the time, I need to run the ball to be successful. But this three men deep is just stopping my run. I'm like, how? How the hell is this man containing my run in quarters three deep? I don't get it. I've never faced this before. So on third and 11, we roll out, we reroute, and right off, like, what? On <sighs> fourth and 11, we end up picking up the first down. He played a ton of man-to-man. -man. I mean, a ton right here. We take off with Johnny Manziel. Whoop! Whoop! Get up, an inch! He's so strong, though. We need to take a look at that again. If this right here isn't one of the best runs you've seen all year, somebody put this on somebody's top 10 plays, like, right now. This man right here, I hit him with a nice little juke, right? And then he over-pursued, he tackled right there. I hit him with the double juke, just bounced off of him, and then just gave him the forearm of death with the spin, and then we end up scoring. That right there puts us at 14-7. And my opponent, he's smart. He's chewing that clock. Like, right, the way he kept on running to the end zone, that looked like you ever seen these clips where guys are just literally untackleable? That might have been one of those situations because you can the way he kept on running to the end zone made it seem like that. But, you know, my guy is chewing clock. He's coming out in shotgun uh, trips, which is inside zone, PA shot wheel, and he's also coming out in the, um, in the split close. So formations that I struggle against. So everybody runs them. You know, I struggle against them because they're the most freaking overpowered formations in the game. Everybody loves them. You know, you got to deal with the inside zones. You got to deal with... Um, you know, so many different formations that we have to try and do. So, the, okay, um, you know, he was running the, anytime somebody runs the Mike Scrape A-gap, I'll run the Turbo A-gap that I know. And, uh, came through a few times, but then he started picking it up. You know, he's, he knows what he's doing, you know. So, um, he gets ball at halftime too. So, it's not looking good for us, right? Third and 13, I have no timeouts, and he's going to settle for a field goal. And he's up 17-7, I have no timeouts. He gets ball back, and... It's just not looking good for me, right? Looks like I'm going to take an L. And I tell you guys all the time, I take plenty of L's, way more than somebody should with a team like I have. You know, um, I'm definitely going to lose a lot more with this team than somebody who's pretty good would. You know, uh, I do take my struggles. I lose just like everybody else. So we're down 17-7, and he has ball, and he's chewing clock, and he has this formation that typically just gives me trouble. So he comes out running the ball. It gets a nice little five yards right there. Next play, he uh, just throws it out of bounds, I guess. I don't know. Third and five right here. Uh, we end up forcing an incomplete pass. He decides to go for it on fourth and five, and he picks up the first down. Now I'm thinking game is over. He's going to clock me. I'm, I'm not going to see the ball back. Uh, second and 16. The only thing that I feel like is going to give me an opportunity is I got to run man coverage. Um, it's probably going to be the only thing to you know get me some stops. Uh, right here, um, he ends up just throwing it over there to the right side, but we bat it down. We're already in field goal range, so we got a chance. So now it's like, okay, can we really develop the run here? Because if I can't run, I'm in trouble. This quarters can't possibly, you know, shut my run down, can it? And he's doing a good job of doing so. Right here, I decide to go for it. I feel like I need points. I, I definitely don't feel confident in my defense. 
I feel like maybe I could hold him to a field goal, but if I kick a field goal and he and then he retaliates with a field goal, then I'm still down 10. You know what I mean? So we decided to go for it on fourth down and we get it. So we're actually only down one possession. We're down three. All we got to do is not give up a touchdown and we're good. So he hits the flats right there. We actually had somebody in the flat. Set, uh, third and six right here. He rolls up. Don't pick up the first. And he picks up the first. Ah, first and ten right. He goes for the screen. I'm right there. He breaks the tackle, falls forward for two yards, which he shouldn't have got. Right there, I got lucky. He bumped into his own guy. So I'm right here. I'm playing the crossing route because he hit me with a few times with that corner route. But we're there to break that up. Fourth and eight. He goes for it. Some man coverage right here to hopefully uh, stop him. He chucks up the Cromartie. Shit breaking with the OBJ INT. Now I'm like, yes, all we need is a touchdown to win this game. But here he comes out in the quarters, three man deep. Man to man. And he's locking up the run. How, Sway? I feel like it's my boost, I swear. Because I'm running man defense and pass rush chemistry. Whenever I get away from my um my ground and pound and run stuff, I just don't feel like I... Look at AP, break and tackle. I just don't feel like my blocks are the same. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's the psychosomatic placebo effect. I don't know. But we pick up a first down. We're in field goal range. But, of course, I want that touchdown. So he's playing nothing but man-to-man, -man, uh, three-man deep. And as you guys know, I struggle against it. I don't know why. Because it always does great against me. No timeouts remaining. 14 seconds. I roll out. Let's just chuck it away. He played all out fag deep. Don't want to take a chance to make a bad read. I try to toss knowing that if I don't get it, I can go to my five seconds remaining. But, you know, I do have enough time to hit B, go to field goal, and kick a field goal. So we are in overtime, and we win the toss. So now I'm like, yes. All we have to do is go on ahead and score a touchdown to put this game away because this guy should have definitely won this game. I was playing pretty bad, and uh, his his defense was confusing me, you know, stopping my runs right here. We reroute him up, and Manziel throws a dot over the shoulder. So we're at the 50-yard line right here, standing up in the pocket. I know he's playing man-to-man. -man. We chuck it up. He's wide open, and Manziel overthrows him. Oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. I was so upset. Right here, we hit him with the strong power to the left. To the left, to the left. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Finally, we get a runoff. And this guy's three-man quarters defense was freaking killing me and stopping my run. And, uh, yeah, but nonetheless, we came back. We battled back, and we won. It's your boy, Jets. See you guys next video. Peace.